Ooh. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Happy New Year! <laughs> Sorry I was MIA there for a few days but yeah New Year's too much of a good time. Mm -hmm. Okay anyway let me sit back here because I got some things to tell you. Okay so I'm uh, not really tasting not really tasting anything today <laughs> um oh let me my head is like i'm sorry my head is like being chopped off here let me just pick you up just a little okay um oh yeah i usually sit on the other side but sometimes the kids want to come up here and then i have to like move move over okay is that better yeah Okay, anyway, yeah, so 2023 already, guys, already. Yeah, not tasting everything because, um, anything, only because, you know, everything that I have has been, like, a lot of leftovers, and I don't want to put something out that's been, like, I had, like, for already, like, over a week and a half, so I'm like, nah, nah I'll leave that alone. And uh, maybe next week, I don't know if I see something out there that I would like to try, you know, definitely I'll, I'll bring it out, but haven't been, haven't seen anything um, yet. I gotta buy some more tea because I'm trying to find the variety pack and it seems like the only tea I have right now is just the raspberry. I mean, I have the kava tea, but usually I just drink that one like at, at nighttime, but th that's about it. This is just the regular raspberry, raspberry tea. And as you can see, it's still the Christmas one. And this is the last time I'll be drinking out of this cup. Um, I'll probably have a set for, um, a, I think I have a blue, a blue, what do you call it, a set. So I'll probably uh, be bringing that one. It has blue, light, light blue flowers. Oh, I went through such, such a bad cold. I think it was a week and a half ago. And I am like so uh, finally, finally done with my congestion. I mean, I there was a point where I couldn't even like like talk because you know the phlegm kept coming kept coming up and it was just driving me crazy and then all the coughing so finally done finally over and uh and even even drinking tea was like a big part of trying to get better you know it's like uh anything hot hot coffee hot tea hot cocoa anything just to you know to ease the the soreness you know of your throat I mean, I still have it, but not as much. Not as much. Ah, uh, this tea, this flavor is just so so good. I think it's raspberry. But uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm kind of like transitioning. <laughs> I'm still in my Christmas socks. And um, I think I've been washing them, you know, over and over again and putting them on. I have to, I'm going to have to buy several. <laughs> I already got my Valentine's uh, socks ready. So I'll be, what do you call it, wearing those soon. It just seems I'm, I'm transitioning from, from uh, the, white, the white season, um, like the wintry season, which is all white. January, I see it as the white month. And, and then, of course, February is the red month. Um, so I'm transitioning from Christmas to, which is all red, green, you know, red, green, and blue, into um, just blue and white. So I already cha I'm changing my wall. I already got blue on the wall. And what I'm going to put there is going to be like snowflakes and um, champagne glasses, like to ring in the new year. Um, and I already took some things down. I could, didn't have a chance to do my Monday walk 
walk through the apartment tour but i'll definitely do that next monday and you know so many little things that have to be have to be put away and so many little things that have to be put up and um definitely still working on you know my journals and like i had mentioned before when it comes to um the holidays crafters are always like two to three months two to three months in advance they're always like jumping the gun even even at, at the stores, I mean, it's not like days ago when you used to, couldn't wait for the holiday to be over and you couldn't wait for the clearance sale and all the candy. They used to drop like almost to, you know, like $3 a bag to almost like 75, 50 cents a bag. There's nothing like that no more. It, uh, it's like it, it doesn't even exist, you know. Which is which is really, really, really sad. So I'm like, okay, you know, no clearance this year. You know, even want, you know, even some some uh, stores they usually have like 90% uh, off are are down to 75%. It's like, you know, what's going on, you know? But you know, that's how life is, and they, and they just switch everything so fast, like from, you know. Again, you know, of us crafters, we don't help any because we always want to jump the gun. And they switch everything, like everything out for Valentine's Day is out. Everything for um, spring season is out, which I already seen a few things. I was like, oh, I hope they ha I get that at my store. I want that so bad. And it's so it's going to be so cute to, you know, to do um, to do scrapbooking with and and so forth so that's gonna be fun but uh, yeah you know just I feel like I just always have to keep keep an eye out you know for everything yeah but just so sad that you know those days are gone and they just don't have that they just don't have that anymore but so anyway you know you try to do what you can I mean I don't want to go hunting for stuff and then just accumulating stuff, you know. And um, I mean, you know, it'll be out next year, you know. They'll have the same stuff, and not, if not close to it, next year. So I'm not gonna worry about it. And I'm finally getting close to finishing my in style. Um, I'm already on chapter. I'm already on chapter 20, 24. I only have like 24, 26, and then there's a chapter 5, which is, and then uh, there's an epilogue, and then I think that was, I think there was one where I said there was a wedding. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it was part 5, and it's Hawaii the wedding, which I have a feeling I know who it's going to be. Anyway, um, coming to what's going on with Amber and Mona and, you know, all the, all those um, guys, um, I think I left off where, um, oh, it's hard to see, that uh, Trey and, um, oh no, I think it was Rob, he was supposed to be getting married, he had a, he just let Amber know that he had a fiance and so forth. But what happened this time is that um, after, let me see, after Amber, oh, what happened is that she was supposed to do the, um, not the BAFT uh, awards, it was something else. It wasn't the Oscars, because the Oscars was the one that was coming next. But uh, in chapter 22, they, they couldn't find Mona and of course Amber couldn't and um, Mona somehow they couldn't find her everybody's asking around where is she where is she because she's supposed to help you know take care of all the dressing and the new dresses are supposed to be on on the supermodels or whatever starlets they were and what did happen is that Amber got called by the L um, by the uh, the LAPD and and she was like okay what's going on and they had told her that a person named Mona that Mona requested to talk to her that she was caught shoplifting and um, 
so then she had to go and bail her out. But at the same time, Bio, Bio, one of the starlets, had offered Amber a position to be like her um, stylist. But go over there. Go over there. You're going to sit down? Sit down. And to um, gave her, you know, uh, I just, you know, you're great, awesome. I would really like you to be my assistant. But what had happened was that Amber, when she was trying to help Bew out, she had a lie for her because she was doing it you know, on the scenes with somebody else behind Trey, her fiance's back, and she was tr pretending to be some kind of a lawyer that she wasn't, and she just didn't want to get mixed up in that. She didn't like the idea of lying, so she goes, No, I'm gonna have to turn down your position because Trey's gonna think I'm somebody I'm not. So she said no to that. Um, and then it just so happens that Rob ends up texting Amber, I think it was the next day or whatever, after the whole Mona getting her out of the jail thing happened, and he wants to go out, you know, for a run. And um, so during that run, he, he lets Amber know that the fiancé that he's going to marry is, um, is with child. So she's like, oh, great, here I am. I like this guy a lot. I felt like we could be great together. And not only do I find out that that's not going to happen, I find out that he has a fiancé. And then on top of that, she's pregnant. <laughs> she's like, can this thing, can it get any worse? Can it get any worse for me? So she's like, you know, like, okay, like, there's just no future, nothing. So poor girl. So, um... Yeah, so then she gets really, really tired of um, of Mona, and Mona's trying to convince her to stay on, and um, Amber's like, no, you know, I'm tired of, you know, I've been with you for weeks, you've had me on the edge of my seat for the last three weeks or so that she's been helping her do the assisting, and she goes, I just can't take it anymore, you're, you're neither here nor there, you're like, you know, you don't have it together, so she's like, no. I'm going, this is it for me, I'm done, I'm going home. I don't want to ever do this again. And um, Aunt Mona is like, you know, she understands and she's like, okay, but just to let you know, she goes, you were the best, you were one of my best assistants yet. And then she turns around and she goes to a counter and she's, you know, playing her game, you know, she's taking out cards and you know, things are being paid for her like always. Because in her in her eyes, Mona's always flat broke. She doesn't have. She always has people taking care taking care of her finances for her instead of it being on her own. So, you know, she was like done. She was tired of it. She was like, and that's where I left off. She was like, she's done. She's going. She's going home. Um, we'll see what happens in chapter twenty three and twenty four. Um, as far as um, the mafia take me, the mafia romance, I don't know what's going on with this one. This one's driving me batty. Um, so it just takes a turn. It gets into a little like, um, it takes a little turn here. Uh, you know, she was kidnapped. You know, this mafia leader took her trying to get revenge on the, on the other, on the other mafia leaders. And, and then he almost likes, um, it's, it, it kind of turned into one of those like shades of gray kind of thing, you know, which I really, I didn't really care for, you know. And, um, so he ends up, what do you call it? Just like, he's always punishing her sexually, you know, it just, it just seems weird. And then he was like, and you know, and, and, and always torturing her and you know and by and then he tortured her another way you know with relations by he had this like lingerie that was put on her and I guess it was battery operated some kind of wire and every time he tapped his watch the it the intense a vibration would get uh, you know worse and worse for her to the point where it was driving her crazy and um uh, then he did a, another thing to her too, and then the next day they met. 
Oh, and then they met at another, it was supposed to be like a certain gathering where all the mafia leaders were together. And she was, you know, anxious, you know, to, um, to go because she knew her brother was going to be here, be there. And she was hoping that he would be able to save her and rescue her and, you know, take her, take her home. But that didn't happen. So she finally does see the, the brother and he says, no, there's nothing I can do. I can't take you home. And he tells her, just do what you're told. And the father was no, no better neither. He was the same way. He was like, you can handle this. You're okay. You know, and it was like no support, no, no, nothing from the father. It was kind of like weird. So she then, after all that was done, I think a big storm came on and during that, because they were on like on a boat, like really far into the waters. So some kind of boat came on. She's trying to run away. And I don't, I don't see how you can run away if the boat's not docked. So she's like running. It must have been a yacht. So she's trying to run, uh, you know, through the stormy, rough weather. And she ends up falling, you know, and she gets caught by the other guy that she was supposed to marry, which his name was Sergio. And then, so it's like Sergio and Dario, the one she's married to, and Sergio that she's supposed to be married to, were like fighting, you know, over her. And um, so, you know, it, I don't know. It, to me, it's just like, I don't know where this this story's going, you know? I mean, it's definitely not a romantic, like a romance novel. And uh, I mean, with all the, the whippings that she was getting and the sexual abuse, it's like, really? And you're supposed to be falling in love with this guy? Really? So, I don't know. I'm still, like, I'm still on, what chapter? I think I'm on. So, I'm still trying to finish it, you know, but I'm like... I don't know where this is going. I'm on chapter 929. So I still have like 70, 75, 80, 90, about 30%, about 35% more to finish the book. So, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see how this story is going to end up. And uh, so, yeah, I can't, I can't wait to finish it. Like I said, there... It's, I don't, I'm not paying for these books. They're for free, so I'm not worried about y'all. My money was badly spent, <laughs> you know. They took me for a ride. <laughs> no. But uh, other than that, um, you know, I just want to wish everybody a happy new year. I know everybody's, you know, talking about all their, you know, resets and what they plan on doing, all their new, you know, resolutions and goals and things like that. I'm the same way, you know. I think about the same thing and... You know, how am I, what am I going to do? The things I'm thinking about looking into. You know, I'm just, you know, just take it one day at a time, guys. Write it down. Don't worry about it, writing so much down because you're going to do more writing than doing. And I'm, I'm, that, I'm that way. You're better off. You can make lists and lists and lists and, and you can have templates and templates of, of going this, writing down here, checking off this, checking. You know what? Just do it. Just do it. The less writing you know and all these templates and stuff you know, the less you have to fill out the less you know because it's time consuming all that writing down you know j just do it if you're going to do any kind of writing i would suggest you do journaling and i'm not talking about junk journal i'm talking about real pen to paper journaling write down your thoughts how your day went how it's going what do you expect to happen you know, write that down because at the end, those are the books, families or whoever in the future, or great grandchildren, whatever, those are the books they're going to want to read. Not so much look at, they want to read the history of what you went through in your life. So it's almost like a book. So I, w I would rather you do that. Yeah, it could look pretty, little things all around it, but do the writing. That's what journaling is about, writing about things now so that when they read it, for you it's not, but for, the, for them it will be what happened to you in the past. Um, another thing that we're all going through right now, and we're probably going to go through it even more later, and that's stress, guys. So, you know, all we can do is just take it easy, 
take a deep breath don't let things stress you out don't worry the more you worry you know it just it just builds up stress even more so don't worry about things you can't control that's how i see it empowerment learn how to empower what's going in 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 your mind in in your how you feel try to gain empowerment over over certain areas of, of stress you know we could there's just so many things a person can stress out about but staying calm is one of them whatever it is that you're going through just stay calm stay calm <laughs> okay guys i think that's it for today um i want to do i do want to talk to you some more but i think those were the key ones so I'm going to continue reading. I'm going to continue to let you know what's going on with these two books. And uh, yeah, maybe next time I will have, you know, a little a little taste of something. Because like I said, everything's already been sitting there for a while. So I don't think so. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see where we're at already. Oh, okay, guys, so like a fish in the sea. So glad you caught me. And we will see you with tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday couponing. I think it's definitely going to be Wednesday night couponing. Okay, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and definitely comment. Bye.